industry best practices incorporates a lot of things and it could be uh, the way you manage your water, the way you manage your drainage, the way you grow your plants. But in, in doing so with the integration of IPM and other methods we, we're finding what, what actually benefits the environment also benefits our growing of plants and health of plants. So it works hand in hand but it takes continual science and research so we understand it, so we know how to manage it. So Berry Farm strawberries uh, is what we grow, uh, that's the only thing we grow. Uh, we're uh, located in the upper, upper Yarra Valley. Uh, the reason we located up here is because of the water, the amount of water we could uh, acquire and the quality of water. That was the most important thing. For many years, uh, the Corellos had uh, managed a lot of the weeds themselves on the, uh, the banks of the Yarra River. Uh, recently they've been participants in the Stream Frontage Management Program which uh, looks at uh, protecting the, the waterways, uh, controlling weeds uh, with a view to future revegetation. We're using trickle irrigation which is obviously the best form and the most efficient of all um, compared to uh, what was once used, uh, I guess sprinklers used to be used which um, um, it's probably reduced the, the, the water consumption by about 75% by going to a trickle. Both organisations appreciate that landholders' time is scarce and where we can collaborate uh, between Melbourne Water and the, and the Port Phillip and Western Port Catchment Management Authority along with the strawberry industry, uh, there's benefits to uh, the landholders in their use of time as well as to us pooling resources to work together to uh, implement projects that we've got a, a, a common benefit. best practices farming. It's become a, a, a common part of, of, of farming, but it's also, it, it's improved um, our whole way of, of farming and, and you know, uh, even the health of our crops. These biological solutions are really enhancing what we do and, and it's not only cost, cost effective, um, but it's, it's beneficial in, in, in every other way. The number one thing we're looking at is the health of our plants. If we inter integrated some form of management or IPM or anything else and we didn't see a benefit, whether it be health, you know, health of plants for starters, which, which equates to quality of fruit, volume of fruit, and obviously a better return at the end. If we didn't see that, we wouldn't do it, but we are seeing it. Again, the more we understand it, the more entomology we're using, the more we're understanding about all the things we're working with, the better we're able to manage them and the better result we're getting. Ground cover. Is, is the key to maintaining soil on, on your property. So just here we've got, in between the rows, we've got good grass establishment between the rows and also the headlands where the machinery is turning around and moving back up the row. Uh, there's a uh, really good ground cover and also the landholder uses uh, a turf type tyre which minimises uh, the churning of, of the ground. The insectarium is an interesting one, but the idea, the concept is, is we're, we're spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars each year in introducing uh, native predators uh, to combat our obviously non-beneficial species of insects. The one, one thing we look at every year is, is how much natural integration do we get into the plants from our localised area. And it's been a little bit more every year actually, it has improved, but we, we put a lot of plantations in of native plants, but the insectarium identifying certain plants which are host to our beneficial insects is a great concept and basically the idea is um, when our season's finished and, and coming into our new season we've got host plants or areas where our beneficial insects have been able to survive and slowly integrate back into our crops when our season starts.